Hey, it's Chris here. Um, just communicating over uh, over YouTube, just stating some facts. Um, I do believe, unless it's changed, that the uh, genius law, quote unquote, if they even consider me that right now, because my brain's kind of controlled by uh, the future. Uh, the genius law would state that uh, I'd be given a family of four and time to reflect and gather my thoughts and obviously the Aish works kinda like that um, but basically I, I need time to collect ideas, formulate connections to benefit Britain and America and hopefully get Britain to Andromeda and form a relationship between the Americans and the Klingon I know that sounds pretty crazy right now but if I can do something in that regard to increase space travel and time and make it an even playing field for some uh, hopefully I can help NASA or whoever else, Intel, uh, IBM form that connection to get us to the next phase of our evolutionary process and with that I, I just hope when the time is right I pray, I am praying to God that they'd allow me a family of four and to let me see them grow and get an education because I would have liked to get an education but my mind kind of failed me um, that being said I was given another option to contribute and all my ideas, all my thoughts although they might fail, they might be wrong some of them might be right, we'll, we'll see but they make connections and by studying them they uh, will give a certain reference point to create another cue and we all know when cue and encoding means we get an idea from that and we can formulate other structures and everything is connected in singularities and they mass produce and there's a mass effect so I know a lot of people meme, a lot of people do a lot of electronic gadgets that can formulate ideas and I'm just saying way to go guys and I hope you can join the genius team because I'm, I'm not calling myself a genius I'm just wanting to be there because they got a family of four and although I'm on disability though I'm I may be considered uh, a juvenile in, in terms of what my mind can handle I do hope that uh, you'll know, allow me the time and the space to gather my ideas to maybe help support the world so it doesn't self-destruct I know you might have seen some of my saw memes uh, that was during a dark period of my life I was trying to um, come to a point where I'd I'd make a click and that would send a, a certain idea to my mind that would change and self-direct itself to maybe stop the world from thinking like saw and unfortunately I saw that the world, given the war and given so much hardship, would turn that way. And I felt it and I saw how we are naturally driven to think in a sociopathic way, a society as a whole that keeps us from going there. And with that, I, I really came to realize that I just want to be a participant in this world and society. I, I really do love all the people here. It's that I wouldn't change it. I just uh, really would like to live my life and, and contribute by forming ideas, maybe starting a business, um, giving my child, children an education, helping this woman get her child back. I know she's having trouble um, finding herself and, and she needs she needs to have her child back. It's been she's been taken away from her, her daughter. So I'd like to help with that, and I just want to live to see my dad happy and content. Uh, saying prayers in the open through YouTube is is not a bad idea. As you can see, I, I sometimes muddle my skin. It's stress. It's um, the stress of thinking that there's a whole other side to the internet that goes on that I'm not aware of, and it plagues me a bit just because I know I can't necessarily see it but I'm becoming more and more aware of it and slowly I'm becoming more accepting of it so hopefully 
it's uh, the unlocked self. So uh, I, I see myself in weird ways. I see myself very immature a few years ago. I'm I'm slowly understanding that I was under duress. I, I had a hurt heart, and then sometimes that can play an effect on the mind. I had Crohn's disease that led to a mental illness. It uh, I wouldn't call it schizophrenia and differentiated type. I call it more bipolar with um, certain lack of, of comprehension and response time. Uh, other than that, I'm just looking forward to the future. I'm hoping this prayer gets to you guys. Um, I really would like to say I apologize for all the thoughts I may have had in my mind. I know it's probably gotten out there that I've had some dark thoughts. I think we've all come across them at times. Uh, but as far as my thoughts, they've been a little heavy and I'm just looking forward to getting around that and uh, forming new friendships, forming new bonds and trying to live as full a life as I can. I mean, if I could, I would do whatever it takes to um, be that member of society and I just need the encouragement, the, uh, the willingness and the proper um, setup to um, be a full functioning member. Uh, obviously we all start on lows and, and we end up getting better and, and getting high, uh, higher in our self-esteem. I wouldn't say my self-esteem is all that bad right now but it has been in the past and uh, I'm just looking forward to thinking about space and the frontiers of, of, of the mind and coming to new terms. Um, I have treated my mind like a trial and I hope that doesn't go too wrong. I just uh, I really wanted to explain myself today and say I'm sorry. I am sincerely sorry for for being a bit too self-conscious in myself and uh, I don't think we can really fully understand why our minds go there and I think it has to do with an overwhelming sensation that we contribute but we don't fully understand our given, our given wealth of information and with the wealth of information we lose ourselves and we just want some peace and clarity and it's getting harder to find that in this world and sometimes you need to be alone, sometimes you need to be isolated to sort of sense where you're going and so I wanted to let you know where I'm at and hopefully you don't think too unwell of me I just uh, I know you guys are very smart out there and, and uh, you can kinda comprehend why I I feel the way I do um, it's not because I I tend to be unaccepting it's because I feel in the ways too un, unestablished in, in myself I think unestablished is a good frame of mind but is also uh, contemplative so I'm just trying to fill in some words here, so bear with me. Uh, what else can I say? Um, I just hope for the best. I hope that what I've done may help in the struggle towards space and time. That humanity can look forward and, and not settle for less than they're worth. And I think they're worth a good portion of this universe if they really accept it and come to terms with it and really protect themselves, protect their their livelihoods, protect their established criteria for existing and if they understand that the universe is finite we could better understand how to go out and establish our reference to better accept those species that may not be as lucky as us because we are lucky and hopefully we can fully understand how great this universe, this extending expanse is because it keeps growing and we're coming to terms with it. So thank you so much and you know I tend to relate to the Bible in some ways because it defines so much about what 
can be. I mean, it talks about space in a weird way. It talks about the outer expanse of our minds. It really tells us there is something to ourselves that makes society work. And it's allowing ourselves to see that it's by understanding the creating, I think, in effect, that we shall not be deceased by whether it be a world war or Chinese influence. We hopefully will see that there's so much more than just going to the slaughter. And the slaughter is what I saw with Saw, and it was a sick, twisted way of thinking. And Saw is very, very sane. And I saw it as sane because I saw how everyone would accept it. And it was very sick to me. So it took me to a dark place and I, I came through last year with some special thoughts and I hope you hopefully you'll see that uh, I'm, I made some gains in that area and some other areas that might influence time and uh, influence my mind a great deal so sorry I'm talking too much hopefully uh, you only understand that uh, I wanted to make you and everyone else come more together as a species and I hope with time we just don't forget that we sacrificed so much in World War One and World War Two and Korea War and Vietnam that we have to fully establish why we have even the Revolutionary War we have these boundaries Canada, Britain, United States, we're going to space and we are going to form an alliance but we need to have different identities doing it and I think in time by learning how to cope as nations we'll learn how to cope in an intergalactic field that's so much more broader because we know how to form relationships with different languages, we know how to form relationships with different cultures, different species, different uh, different types of life. And I think we'll even experiment with the life we have on Earth and make certain things intelligent. So there's nothing limited to what we can do if we just give ourselves time, and that's the main thing. If we give the Earth time, we can last for five, six thousand years if we manage it well. And if we really think about having families of four, be going beyond four people in the family, it it's good for some. I'm not saying let's force it on you. I'm just saying it gets up to be a burden beyond four people in the family. It uh, unless you have the money for it, it's it's hard. And basically it keeps the population at the same level so over time everything stabilizes and although it raises a bit because we live three generations four or five generations it autom automatically it will slower the population growth and will hopefully see ourselves on earth being more accepting immigration becomes more flexible uh, citizenship becomes more flexible uh, we'll, we'll see each other becoming more fluent with language and hopefully our scientific minds will infer or become more aware of of comprehend, comprehending the comparisons and the connections and one thing I tried to do was with a very basic mind that I have is make some connections and those connections are feeling what the future wants for me or God the um, ultimate power uh, to guide me and show me what's necessary to get to that next stage of evolution now 
there was exponents that I produced, exponents of exponents, or exponents times exponents of a timed drive fact. And there was um, certain graphing that I did uh, or saw through Google Images and I memed. Uh, there's economic stuff that I did earlier on, uh, political stuff that I saw might influence uh, some certain changes in policies. Uh, hopefully, I hope that what we're all doing, even though our voices might be small, we're not overlooked in the long run. I just hope that uh, my plea for for a life well lived, a life well lived, is not taken the wrong way. And I think that's what we all want in the end. We want to go to space, we want to expand, we want to think in terms of, of so much more, but we also want to have a well lived life. And I think we have that right in judicial law and in finding ourselves through the future through mind retention and mind coding to ask for that. And uh, my plea is with the future to allow people this far back in the past, this far back in our primitive society, it's not that disturbing to know that it's primitive just because we haven't come to the fact that we can establish ourselves in such a way that we can extend ourselves and help each other out at the moment's notice through uh, certain avenues in our online world and beyond. It's, it's not as primitive as it's going to be, but it's going to improve from there. So what I'm saying is I'd like to see see everyone more accepted. Uh, I know we're trying on inclusion in our schools and in our in our judicial, judicial and uh, I shouldn't say judicial, it's already inclusive. Uh, in our politics, in our economic um, culture to be more inclusive to the fact. We also need to have our secrets, I understand that. Uh, what I'm trying to say is I admire all of you for wanting a life that is so endearing to itself that we tend to emanate or emanate our ourselves in being like the Father, like the Son, like the Holy Spirit. We we want our families. We want to know that we our bloodline goes on to see our bloodline maybe if we come back if the mind grows to the point where we can literally bring our consciousness back into another body uh, I, I believe that science can go there it's just a matter of time if we don't d develop from war if China doesn't blow us up for um, for thinking that way uh, I feel like China, Chinese American, English, we can all be brought back in different colors of skin, in different frame of minds. We can we can also see ourselves differently because we're like a mirror. We're, we, we're seeing ourselves, but we're a little bizarre by how the other reflection is looking because we see ourselves differently in the mirror. People see each other differently. Nations see each other differently depending on our reflection to them. And that's really how it goes. It's the eye. It's what our eyes see. It's just it's sort of an illusion how we see China, how we see America, how we see Britain. It's uh, going to change so much, but really it's it's a tight scheme here. And on Earth, we've all been allowed here for a reason. And it's so many nations that are allowed here. And we have a choice. We can either self-destruct or we can go to space. We can. We can continue on, or we can uh, never exist again. And why would we want to come back here and not exist again, yet deny our children the right to fundamentally and, and, and controversially 
uh, go to where we haven't gone before. It's like denying them their right. And it's denying their right to bring us back. It's denying their right to show the many generations that came together to make society work. And with that, I just wanted to say, I want you to know that I care deeply about human growth and human potential. I just wanted these ideas that I created or shared through the future, through God, through whatever was working through me, through, uh, through the force of our minds. I just wanted it to go freely to whoever needed it, whoever could benefit from it for the good of humankind. And human, human endeavor, human justice, human contri contribution. And uh, I know you don't see me quite yet as you should, but I tend to overreact to some things. Uh, I'm not overly desensitized, but I, I tend to analyze things a bit too much and I just wanted to say uh, forgive me for an analytical mind I wish I could think as highly intelligent as some of the scientists some of the physics experts and the healthcare professionals they can think in such a way I wish I could comprehend and, and just have my memory work my memory save what they they're saying and and what they're teaching but I just like to say um, I feel for what we have in this world and I'm not ungrateful. I just uh, always looking for the next big thing, the next improvement that I can make or that I can see someone else make because it makes my day. It really makes my day to see someone step out just to make that slight difference in the day of someone else or just to make it that much more special of an occasion or a a fundamental it just makes you feel like you're not a statistic that's what I'm trying to get at is when someone just makes that little bit of a difference in someone's day makes you feel less of a statistic and ultimately when your code like we all are like I am even though I thought I was savior even though I thought uh, since God was giving me all this in information that I could help the world. I could. I thought I could get out there. I thought I could be a diplomat of some sort. I could talk to China, go there, maybe sacrifice myself for the good of the cause before World War III happened. I thought, why not go there and let them torture me, whatever it took. That's what my mind was at, because I didn't want World War III to happen. I didn't want everyone to go through hell, to starve, to see the whole nations collapse. I didn't want to see the economic collapse. I wanted to fundamentally do something, sacrifice whatever, to stop it from occurring. And I saw there was a big blockade. I couldn't go there. I couldn't help myself get there to stop China, to stop Indonesia, to stop India, to stop the Iraq war from heating up between Russia and America, Egypt. Oh, I could go on, but Turkey, uh, Greece, uh, the Balkans, um, Ukraine, Africa. Anyway, it's uh, I know there's even some spots in South America that, or Central America that could blow up. North Korea is the final one. I don't see how we're going to save Seoul. I don't see how. I, I can kind of see how we can get through to Cuba, but it's a difficult road. Um, but North Korea is going to blow, and I just wanted to do something for it. I don't want to actually go there because I know they wouldn't be too friendly with me. Um, I think uh, it's kind of cut and dry there. Um, 
but I wanted to do something for the future and they gave me the opportunity to do it for them. I just hope that I didn't do anything that in any way demean the future or made it seem like my code was insufficient or old or an issue. I just wanted to coexist. I wanted to be brought back to life by my family. I wanted my family to be there. So many generations I wanted to see of my family uh, if they brought me back to life. And <coughs> I think that's a dream we all have. I think um, for those that don't have family that I think you have just as much opportunity, you have extended family, you have friends that want to see you back, you have so many people in the future looking towards you for guidance in the future and, and just because you're not necessarily part of a family doesn't mean we don't form families and, and go through um, eternity eternal recurrence, whatever you call it uh, changing and and developing as pods, as as groups and I just wanted to say thank you and I look forward to seeing how it all comes together when our, our full structure can be studied and when we actually make contact with the future through technology and reading our minds, all that it all comes down to self-control, self-management and I hope Trump understands that. Donald Trump I think would agree that we can we can come to new policy, we can make treaties that go to space and, and how we contain ourselves and and fully function as a whole. I think Trump knows that all the votes that he was cast for him was self was self um, created in ways that he formed these relationships with these people who voted for him long before he was even president. This was happened an eternity ago. And he should realize that all these people are his friends that voted for him and and uh they knew what they were doing. They knew that they were going to vote him in. They knew that what policies he'd be um, ma majoring in. And they knew uh, he would someday make a change that would better America. So, and who's to say Hillary wouldn't do the same? It's just um, we see humanity is developing and we're trying to develop ourselves and usually developing ourselves means we have to break down our minds we have to come to terms with our issues and boy if I haven't had a lot of issues I had to deal with just because there were mental blocks in my mind and the future helped me go through it like I, I haven't told you but when I go to a keypad or uh, just a little text box on my phone, my hand is directed and moved like so to the letters or the numbers that I need to press and it makes sense, it's my thoughts before I thought about it basically the computer tells me what I need to think, what I need to type what I need to say to myself and to others before I do it so it's like a Ouija board but it's typing and, and communicating, texting talking even that comes before I think of it. And that also means that it's coding. It could be Oracle, it could be uh, Stanford, it could be Intel, it could be IBM, it could be so many French or British or American, it could be Chinese, it could be all these different organizations that can control the mind. But really, what it comes down to is I think we want our freedom because we're allowed to help each other in so many ways I think in the end the future has come to a place where we've we have controls but we also understand we're human beyond any measurable expanse we're human beyond any measurable extent and I think human goes beyond alien in the sense that we see aliens as human in so many ways it's just the human feeling I think goes beyond the stars it's calling aliens humans 
It's that simple. We need to feel that close to people that we're able to switch that around and call on aliens as humans. We have to see ourselves in that extent that we are going to fall deeply and madly in love with space. It just is a matter of time. It takes a lot of hard work, don't get me wrong, but if we keep on showing what we're capable of, if we keep on opening ourselves up and getting ourselves out there and giving everything for free, giving our ideas, our favors, our beliefs, our connections that we make, those free things that come into our mind, we don't know where they come from, but we're getting them. If we keep on giving them for free, we're going to make a difference. We're going to get what we need out there. And there's going to be so many mass singularities that we're going to see a full change in where we're going. And by golly, China, America, Britain, France, Russia, they're all going to find what they need to find to not want to self-destruct. Now, Russia is the one that really wants to self-destruct right now. And they do because they're so big. They're a big nation, but they feel small. They feel small in their big nation. They want to step on people. And America wants the oil. <laughs> but America has a plan to share the oil. And China is willing to hear America when they talk about sharing the oil. And that's the main thing. We want global revitalization, global revival on our oil. And then, when it comes time, we're going to find out how we can create energy from such an effect that we won't need as much carbon as we think. So there we go. That's the end of my conversation. Thank you, and God bless all of you.